What's up? What's good? It's your boy Zillionaire, your host of Hollywood Stories and Scandals. I'll be doing a whole new series on Kanika Jenkins' famous case, and we're going to run it down. You heard me? Everybody that wants the Kanika Jenkins facts, you know who to come to, your boy Zillionaire. If you want to follow the fantasies and all the stupid made-up stories and all the other garbages out there that have no facts behind it, have nothing to support what they're saying, you could follow them. Now, all my followers from Zillionaire Nation, you know we've discovered how Rosemont have a history of covering up crimes and working with gang members. Rosemont and Cook County have a history of falsifying autopsies. Rosemont and Cook County have one of the biggest organ trafficking businesses in the United States. They have warehouses with bodies and freezers. We know why they put Kanika in the freezer to preserve her organs. Now, Crown Plaza Hotel harvests organs and they have murders all over the world internationally. They're owned by the elites. They harvest organs. What harvesting organs is, it's a place where people keep the organs and people who traffic organs, are they come and pick up the organs and they sell them. The organ harvesters are the ones that preserve them and keep the organs. The organ traffickers are the ones that come and get the organs and sell them. Now, this has become one of the most famous cases to date. Um, I mean, all you see on YouTube is Kanika's, hundreds of thousands of Kanika videos. It's just crazy right now. It's crazy right now. If you don't deal with the facts, you're going to get lost in the case. No one knew this case was become that famous. I didn't know it was become big time, become as famous as it is. But it uncovered a lot of dark, dark, sinister stuff behind the case. A lot of dark, evil stuff um, mixed with the elites. And it's sad that her own people had her killed and had her murdered. And the elites come and they pick up the dirty work and they get paid off her body. It's just sad, man. But that's the world we live in. And this is going to be part one. This is my intro to the Kanika Jenkins famous K unsolved case. I'm going to do another series. I think there's some other things we need to look at. And I think we need to talk about this on a wider spectrum, on a bigger level, on a bigger platform, because her case is famous, bottom line. It has became famous. Um, now, everyone that fell in love with the case, everyone has a certain type of obsession with the case, obsession, wanting to find out we may understand what happened, but we want to know exactly who did what. That's what we want to know. We want to know exactly who did what. And we know people like Monifa and, and Shemaya, they know what happened. Even the mother, they know what she knows what happened. And people need to start talking. Somebody need to speak anonymously or something. I don't know. People need to give the truth up about this girl's case because, um, you know, it's not going to go away. You know, they're just going to be haunted by the case. You know, everybody involved is going to continue to be haunted by this Kanika case. So I'm going to be breaking down this case um, on a whole nother level, a whole nother perspective. Because sometimes, you know, we uncovered a lot of stuff, a lot of truth. But it's time to take another perspective in this case. Um, we understand with Rosemont with the organ trafficking, with the organ harvesting, with Cook County falsifying autopsies, um, with the uh, the Rosemont crime cover-up. They cover up crimes for the organ trafficking businesses, and they also work with gang members. These are all facts in the case, facts. They're going to bring you the facts. This stuff you can research. Okay, look it up yourself about the Rosemont organ trafficking. Look it up yourself how Rosemont um, cover up crimes and work with criminals. This is all documented. Okay, it's all documented. Also, look up how Cook County Medical falsified about 300 autopsies. You know, it's just a crooked, corrupt city, a crooked, corrupt town. It's wicked, it's evil, it's sinister. 
And we're going to be going through this step by step once again. But I'm taking a whole nother perspective of it. I'm your boy Zillion. Now, this is Hollywood Stories and Scandals. And I'm putting this on Kanika's case. Because Kanika's case, she's famous, period. So this case is a Hollywood type case. And the crazy part about how this is a Hollywood type case, I'm going to break down. Uh, and I'm going to show proof about how Teresa Martin is suing... Yes, listen to me. She's suing the hotel that Bill Murray owns. Yes, the Caddyshack Hotel. She's suing them, the Caddyshack Hotel. I'm going to pull up the receipts on my next video. She's suing the that Hollywood Bill Murray. His, uh, You know, he's the famous actor, Bill Murray. Um, he has a... a, a, a it's crazy. It's, it's just crazy. It's no coincidence that Bill Murray has a has a restaurant in Rosemont. <laughs> okay. There's no coincidence he has a he has a restaurant called the Caddyshack in uh Crown Plaza Hotel. And Teresa Martin is suing them also. But I'm gonna pull that up later. I'm your boy Zillionaire. This is Hollywood Stories and Scandals. Kanika's case is famous and we're gonna talk about this on a whole nother platform. And I'm out of here. Zillionaire Records Incorporated.